Now then, kid. What are you up to, you? How do? Hold on a minute. Got a couple of horses. Stevie, come here. Yeah, good boy, stay there. Stay there. Good boy, come here. He won't bother him, love. Daft as a brush. Come on then. Come on, kid. <laughs> that way. Go on then. Good lad. Thank you. Right, let's start again. Uh, so today, I went down to Monster Mansion. For those that are new to the channel, I've done some vlogs. I will put a link in the description. Monster Mansion is my local nick, as it were. I live in Wakefield now. HMP Wakefield, it's called Monster Mansion because of the murders and sex offenders, high profile, that are sent there. I was down there, took Stephen down to do a little vlog. I literally got to the wall, about to walk around the prison. There's a guy there with a dog. Older gentleman started talking. Ex-prison officer, he was. 25 years, working at HMP Wakefield. By the time we finished chatting, I needed to be somewhere else. Isn't that just the case? A little bit about HMP Wakefield. It is an inner city prison. There's literally houses being built 15 metres from the wall. So my plan was to walk around, give you a view of it and do a little vlog. I will go back and do that. It is a strange setup and perhaps not a lot to see, but hopefully you'll get a bit of the atmosphere. Like I said, pinned comments. I will put in some vlogs I've done about a couple of people, creatures that I work with quite closely that we sent there. And also one guy, he was a security principal officer at Monster Mansion. Turned out to be a serial rapist. We had him at Strange Ways on the healthcare. So, I'm gonna do part of the vlog I was gonna do. I'm gonna talk about Robert Maudsley. In this country, if you are of a certain age, you'll know I'm talking about, I'll just swap hands guys, the sun's not. You know I'm talking about. Other people, not so much. Not a lot being uh, in the press about him for a good long time. Um, who is Robert Maudsley? Well, he's a serial killer. He killed in London. I think he's a Scouse lad, actually. Born in Liverpool, speak in Liverpool, I believe. In London, he picked up a lad. I don't know what reason it was. This guy turned out to be some sort of pervert. Showed him images of children and that. Mosley killed him. He was arrested. Locked up. He was locked up in Broadmoor. One of the UK's three high security hospitals. He was deemed not fit to plead at trial. So that's where he went. In 1977, he killed somebody in prison. He killed somebody in Broadmoor. It is a prison, high security hospital. Him and another guy, I believe he's called Cheeseman, got a sex offender, paedophile, in a cell. They tortured him for nine hours and they killed him. Um, Yeah, real badass this man. Sorry, miles away then, it is a lovely day, just taking it in. He was then moved to Monster Mansion. He weren't happy about going from high secure hospital, it'd be very different to a prison. I think it was 1977, 1978, whilst on a wing, he lured someone to his cell 
and killed them. So he's a normal location prisoner, as it were. Killed someone in his cell, stuffed them under the bed. He then went onto the wing to find another victim. Eventually found someone. The first victim had killed his wife. I don't know the circumstances. The second one was another sex offender, a paedophile. Stabbed him, stabbed him in the head and killed him. That's two people he's killed in one day. It's reported that he then went to the wing office. The officer who was in there, prison officer, presented him with a dagger and told him there's two less on the roll. The roll is your count. Hence, serial killer. Killed someone outside prison and killed three people in prison. He's now kept in what's described as a glass cage at Monster Mansion, or was the back end of 2021, that's where he was. Yeah, so this cage, basically is a room um, described as about four and a half by five and a half meters. It has bulletproof glass, a clear view, so you can see this lad in his cell. And then within that, I believe there is a Perspex confine. So again, you can see him. Furniture wise, there's no real bed. There's a plinth, concrete plinth, and there's some compressed cardboard furniture, table and chair. A lot of segregations now have this. You can't set it on fire. You know, it's very lightweight in construction. Um, so you can't really weaponize it. He's had two, well, at least two appeals. He's appealed, you know, his conditions, being kept in, in the securest conditions. Um, at one time, I don't know that's still the case. He had no TV, no music, no nothing. 23 hours locked up where people could see him and observe him with an hour's exercise every day. That's it. I wonder what people think about that on the human rights front. Especially now, there's two of these uh, confines at Monster Mansion. The other guy, come on, kidder. Stevie. You're right. Some people just don't speak, do they? Anyway, there's another guy. Locked up the same, I believe. And that's Charles Salvador. Charles Salvador, um, again, if you're not aware who he is, formerly known as Charles Bronson, probably one of the uh, most high profile prisoners in the UK prison system. Here's the thing though, Charlie Bronson's never killed anyone. Call him Charles Salvador, apologies there. Um, he fought the system. When he was locked up, the system was very brutal. He was a fighter, this guy, an armed robber initially. And he fought the system. Whilst he's in the system, he was at times very disruptive and his prison sentence grew. There is moves to get him out now. I believe he won an appeal last year uh, to have his parole hearing in front of a judge. And rightly so. If you look up Monster Mansion HMP Wakefield, again in the pinned comments, I'll put a bit in there. All the people it mentions are uh, murderers, paedophiles, rapists, killer of children and the like. There's no mention of Charles Bronson. He's never, Charles Salvador, he's never killed anyone. I think it's a political issue with him, with the prison service and the House of Commons. You know, he has been very disruptive. However, like I say, there's far worse than him, gone in prison and got out of prison, people who were murdered and the like. So maybe it's time to let him go. So yeah, apologies guys. I did, I didn't mean, mean to do you that vlog today, but I ran out of time, I had to be elsewhere. I will get down there, try and take in some of the atmosphere and talk about some of the other people that are locked up there. Uh, yeah, Robert Mosley, called by prisoners. Um, the Brain Eater, that was reported in the press, called by other people, Hannibal the Cannibal. The Brain Eater bit, right? Legend says, or had it, that one of the guys he killed, he actually ate some of his brain. 
The press had to retract articles after somebody complained to the Press Complaints Commission about this. Uh, apparently that's not true. However, the murders were horrific um, and I believe still to this day remains at Monster Mansion in his glass cage. He has asked um, to be allowed to die, assisted dying by whatever means that was declined. And like I said, his conditions will remain till the end of his life. Interestingly enough, he's the longest serving whole of life prisoner. Whole of life means whole of life, never getting out. Uh, Ian Brady, you know, was until he died the longest serving whole of life. And now it's Robert Maudsley. So yeah, on the Charles Salvador front, if he does get out, and I think he should, is hoping he's given some peace and space to do normal things. Like I say, he's never killed anyone. Parting shot as always, Steve-O. Steve-O, come here, see your fans. See your eyes, kid, come here, come here. There you go. Eh? <laughs> Good boy. Thanks for coming, guys. Beautiful day. Wishing everyone all the very best. Cheers. Al City.